Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This video, I'm going to show you what I colored in January of 2024. And this month seems like it went really, really quick. Um, I did want to say thank you to all y'all that's been watching my videos and all y'all that subscribed. And um, I just really appreciate that. So thank you very much having some tea and I am on a race against my furnace because when it cuts on it sounds like I'm in a train station so we'll see if I can get through this before it comes back on so I set out to do 17 pages for this month and I did not do that many oh sure situated here. I'll start with the whips. Dark Fantasy Special. I did not even touch this book. I can't believe I didn't touch this book. This is my favorite. And she's still in the same state she was at the beginning of the month. So we're going to keep her on the rotation for February. But yeah, I haven't done anything except for her skin. So She's still in there. That's that's the first whip. And then the second whip is in Terry Pratchett's Discworld coloring book by Paul Kidby. This is the one I'm working on. I'm calling them blue trolls. But I did not realize what a big picture of this was going to be when I chose to color it. Very cool. I like the way it's coming out. Um, let me see if I can find the... Right here is the reference from the book. So I think I've got it pretty close. But I counted, if you notice, I don't know if you can see it, there's a red mark in all their hair. I counted all these guys. There are 64 faces on this page. That's a lot of troll faces. So I usually will keep this on my coffee table and color a few faces in the morning before work. And I'm gonna keep them on in the rotation as well. So maybe next month they'll be all done. So that's that one. Next one is in the Boho Style Hippie Girls. Y'all seem to like this book. This video, the flip through of this book has gotten quite a few views. Oh, now I'm moving my, this is my, so I know where I'm at in the camera. But I finished her. I did a video on um, doing the the hair and I like the way she turned out I wanted her to look like she was in a cold environment and she was cold and so she's got pink cheeks and her little nose is pink and I like the way the the necklace came out and this was done all done with Prismacolors so I really like the way she came out she's beautiful And that was in Boho Style Pippi Girls. And let's see how many. We have two in this one. Dark Shadows. Shadowns, whichever way you want to pronounce it. Notice they spelled correctly here. But I got her done. I thought she turned out very cool. She's all done with a uh, Prismacolor, and then her, I can't really see what you're seeing here, but her eyeshadow is very sparkly, because I put Wink of Stella over the top of the Prismacolor, and then some of the paint around here, paint splatters, that is uh, just acrylic paint. These splatters were already there and I just dotted them with paint. But I thought she turned out really cool. Had a lot of fun doing this page. 
And then this one was just one of those just for funds. And this is, um, what kind of paint is this? Okay, I had to go and grab the paint. This is what it is. It is um, tempera paint. This came from um, Hobby Lobby. And it came in just this set. And this is a ton of paint. And it's metallic and it's very cool. But that is what I did the hair with. Um, there's gel pen on the eyes. And then the dress and the face is um, gel crayon, which I got new gel crayons. They're awesome. I love them. I'll show them to you soon. But yeah, this was just one of those fun pictures. No shading, just putting something down to get color on the paper. It was quite fun. So there's those two in dark shadows. And then I got two done in the Evil Beauties coloring book. I love this coloring book. One of them was a whip from last time and I have like three videos on this I think. Just doing his skin. But I thought he turned out really well. This is all Prismacolor except for this background right here. This is, and I don't know if you can see how it's sparkling, but that is actually fabric paint. I don't know if I got this at Walmart or Hobby Lobby. I don't remember. I think Hobby Lobby, but I can't remember. But I liked the color, so I was determined to put it on paper, and I did. But this is the um, this is the fabric paint, and then I just put Wink Estella over the top of it for sparkles, because even zombies need sparkles, right? Glitter makes everything better. But I love him. I love the way it turned out. It took forever, but I think it turned out really well. And then this, I also did a video on this. There are 22 different shades of green in this picture and he's given me Hulk vibes with the skin color but I thought this one turned out really cool too this one was really fun to do um, the face everything here is all Prisma the background it was already black but it had these you know lines back there that and the hair is done with the gel crowns. Right after I got them, I was doing this picture and yeah, they came in just in time. So I really like the way he turned out. And then the creatures of the night I did. the teddy bear, well it's called a bedtime, teddy bear in the back, and this is done with the Artisto pencils, and I did review on them, I think it's my last video that I put up of what I thought about them. Um, there is um, glossy accent on his eyes, so his eyes look very cool, and raised and really cool. And then the background is just stencil. All that's all stencil. And um, I stamped it with just some little mini ink pads that I got from Hobby Lobby. So I thought he turned out cute too. He's supposed to look fluffy. I don't know if I quite got that across, but you know, I tried. And I like him, so not bad. And then the last one is in the fairy special. And I 
did this one. And I was over this one by the time I did the frog. He sat there for a while. And then I came back to the picture and I was, I was over it. I don't necessarily like the way this one turned out, but it's all right. But this around here, this rose gold color is actually Deco Art Metallic Luster in the color rose gold. This did come from Hobby Lobby. And it like, looks like that. It's kind of like hard, kind of. But if you put water on it, just a little bit, it can almost act like watercolor paint. I don't know what this stuff is used for, but I saw it hanging on the shelf and I liked the color of it and I wanted to use it. So I have used it in a couple of couple of things since I got it. But that's what that is. Um, all the pencils are Prismacolor. And we've got gel pen here on these plants down here and up here. I bordered it with washi tape. And then there is um, just gel and glitter just all over his wings to make him very sparkly. And then his hair, I just put Wink Estelle on his hair, no color at all, because I wanted it to kind of stay gray. I actually wanted it to be a little whiter than that, but it's fine. But yeah, that's the last picture that I did. Didn't quite get as much done as I wanted to, but that's okay. I'm satisfied with everything I did. And I will be putting up a video of what I plan to color in February here in the next couple of days. And I can't wait to see what y'all got done this month. And I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.